This video is for everyone who lives in Australia and also collects Blu-rays. Um, now, I've, in the last six months, I've recently started collecting Blu-rays and I've been swapping my DVD versions over for them. And I found that there was a lot of films that didn't get officially released in Australia to Blu-ray, TV series as well. So, I thought, alright, uh, maybe I can import it from another country, assuming it's compatible. Unlike DVDs, where the region coding was 1234, uh, Australia and New Zealand, it's region 4, and the UK, it's uh, region 2. With Blu-rays, it's different. Blu-rays, the region coding is ABC. So, Australia, where region B, and so was the UK. So I thought, okay, sweet, I can uh, try importing from the UK. Hopefully they work, I was a bit skeptical. So, if you're in that same boat and you uh, were thinking about importing some from the UK, unsure if they'll work, they work, alright? Um, provided you have something that'll play Blu-rays. It doesn't have to be a specific, like in, uh, an actual Blu-ray player, it can be your PS4, or PS3, Xbox One. It doesn't matter, if it's designed to play Blu-rays, uh, they will play uh, the ones that you will import from the UK. Right? Unless it's like a American-coded Blu-ray player or console or something, in which case you're fucked. Um, so, the ones, just to name a few, that never got released here in Australia that I imported in, that I tested and they do work. Last Boy Scout, Mirrors, love these films, and these are the only two where I kept the um, proper case. The rest, like Running Scared, I had to import this from Germany, and this isn't the uh, proper case, the other one was written in German. So, the thing you need to be careful about when importing certain movies from Germany, and the only reason I did that was because it wasn't released in any uh, country dominant of the English language. Um, so the UK, I was out of luck, and uh, Germans... Uh, in Germany, they also have Region B DVDs, uh, sorry, Blu-rays. So, when I um, imported this one, it was fine because the movie is filmed with English speaking. Although you do need to go on the main menu to the uh, audio options and make sure that you play it in English, and then it's fine. And uh, switch off the German subtitles as well. Usually they um, will play by default. Uh, the thing you need to be careful with, though, is that if the movie was not a predominant um, English speaking movie, so like the first Onback movie, now in Australia, the second Onback movie is the only one that was officially released on Blu-ray, which is weird. The third one was released in the UK, so I imported that. Again, that's not the official cover, that's a custom one. And the first movie I imported from Germany, thinking, oh, this will be a good idea. When I got it, though, um, because they all speak in, in Thai, uh, you have to rely on the subtitles. There was no English subtitles. It was only in German, so I don't speak German. Um, I don't know, except when I'm taking the piss and going, Zikael! But anyway, um, yeah, so just make sure that you know that uh, the movie will have English subtitles. Generally speaking, from what I've looked into, if the movie was, uh, you know, if you need to rely on subtitles to understand what they're saying, and it's released in German, uh, sorry, Germany, you're pretty much screwed. So don't import the Blu-rays uh, from Germany, unless you speak fluent German, in which case it's, it's fine. Um, Anyway, some other films that were never released on Blu-ray in Australia. From Dust Till Dawn Trilogy. Again, this is a custom cover that I actually made myself. Uh, the Matrix... Well, sorry, the Animatrix was the only one. Um, the first three live-action films were released in Australia. This is just, again, a custom slip. The first Speed movie is released in Australia. Speed 2 wasn't. I had to import that over. You know, True Romance. Honestly, this is a great movie. I don't know why they never released this in, this, uh, in Australia. Um, the other ones that have still gone the way is like uh, the entire series of House and Eastern Promises, another really awesome, excuse me, <clears throat> another awesome martial arts film starring the lead character uh, Aiku of the Raid movies in Marintel called Headshot. Um, and yes, that is imported from the UK, so it will have English subtitles. Um, occasionally, though, now for American region, for Blu rays, it's Region A. Uh, however, every now and then they will release uh, region-free Blu-rays, such as Video Game High School. So, and I bought this from the official Rocket Jump site, and so I asked, uh, yeah, um, if it was region-free and if it would play here in Australia, and they said, yeah, it will. So, yay, and it definitely does. And then I found out that you can actually buy it here in Australia, which I felt like a fucking idiot when I found that out because I had no idea. So, uh, yeah. That's really about all you need to know, so just make sure that the um, region coding is region B, that the device you have to play Blu-rays is coded to region B uh, Blu-rays, or like the Australian coding. Um, and yeah, make sure if you're going to import the movie from Germany, or any other country that uh, released the movie on um, region B, Italy is another one by the way, that's where I got the Animatrix from. 
but just make sure that that movie, uh, you know, has English uh, speaking vocals, uh, as in like if, yeah, if the movie was like, if they're speaking Chinese or Thai or any other kind of foreign language other than English, and you have to rely on the subtitles for it, importing it from Germany probably isn't going to help you, as I found out, so save your money and just stick with um, the UK. Um, this, uh, there's a site on, on eBay, the seller that I found the best to work with, who also offers the best uh, range and the cheapest prices, is called uh, Rare DVD Outlet. So if you're searching in eBay for movies to import from the UK on Blu-ray, um, they're ones that I highly recommend uh, working with. Uh, everything I've ordered with them has been sent very quickly and it's always arrived in good condition. Um, yeah, other than that, if you want to uh, fill in those gaps of movies that uh, might be missing, those are your options. So hopefully this was helpful and uh, go watch some movies. Take care.